Hello, we are going to make a nested animation using movie clips. On frame one, I'm first going to draw a ball. And then I'm going to select it and convert it to a symbol, F8. I'm going to call this movie clip ball. If I double click on this, I can now I'm entering the editing scene where I can edit the movie clips timeline. It can have a separate timeline than the scene. I can also double click over here in the library to edit the movie clip timeline. I want to make the ball move up and down, so I'm going to make a motion train. And I need another symbol for that. OK. And I will move it so that it halfway down it's moving down and then over here it's moving back up. So it's going up and down, up and down. If I go back to scene one and go control enter to preview it, even though there's only one keyframe on the scene one's timeline, the ball is moving up and down because it's an animated symbol. Back inside the symbol, back inside the movie clip ball symbol, I can add another layer. I can name this layer shadow. This layer is ball. And I could have a ball going, I could have a shadow going back and forth. So here I will draw a shadow. And for I want this layer to be underneath the ball. I can add a keyframe. Insert a keyframe and another keyframe. In the middle, I can resize. Resize the shadow and make a shape tween. This could be a motion tween as well, just getting bigger and smaller. So what, what we have now is the shadows changing in size and the ball going up and down. Maybe I want it touching. Okay, back on the scene, it is just staying stationary. To move it on the main scene, I can create a different animation, different motion tween. So I'll right click, create motion tween. I'll resize this so it go, takes a bit longer. At the end, I want it here. I'll resize it a bit. At the beginning, I want it up here and smaller. So now this is just a motion tween on the main timeline, but it's going to animate the insides as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck.